Now, I'd just like to clear up diff lock versus traction control. These vehicles all have a rear axle diff lock, and in the past, in years gone by, we used to rely on the rear axle diff lock until the better system came along. Now, what happens when you engage diff lock is it locks both wheels together on the rear. It's very, very useful if we've got a big load on the tray, we want to go really slowly, and we want to go in a relatively straight line, maybe up a rocky track or something with a big load. Now, that's not always what we're doing, so we often have to turn sharp corners, and sometimes we want to put a bit of power on. Now, diff lock is designed for slow speed, so it disengages at 12 kilometers an hour, so you don't go straight ahead off the corner of a slippery track. Now that we have traction control with a very, very effective braking system and it's very fast to react, it can work on all four wheels. So where we just have the rear wheels really doing most of the work with the diff lock in, with electronic traction control, we have all four wheels. It's actually more capable than a diff lock.